Hello, I'm Aaron and welcome back to the Last Down Gamers server. So today we're conducting a bit of a server tour. Now, the server that we're currently running goes by the name of Heavy Ordnance. And this is Zer's concept. And the concept basically combines aircraft and ground vehicles with two rival factions, one military and one rebels, fighting it out across the server. So there's both PvP and PvE interactions for the players. So we're actually over at Xterm's base. Now, Xterm in the previous season built some fantastic grids so let's have a look what they've been working on so we've got some sort of utility cargo transport ship there we've got what looks to be some sort of maybe off spray with rotating propeller blades it's got turrets on the top a rocket turret on the top it's got a gatling gun turret at the back look at the shape of this thing though it's beautiful and then inside they've got a little access ramp and a little bit of cargo going on inside here as well that leads to the cockpit area and in the cockpit there is two simple seats there to pilot this fine vessel so coming down we've got the main runway if, if maybe a little bit short and we've got these little fighters that have been chucked in over here coming over here we have got access to the pit so dropping down we have a utility ship stuck down below going into the matrix that is their base we've got various different areas from their med bay i'm not going to completely tour this place each room has production or little refineries would be would be here pretty much every day as we come down there we've got some storage over on that side we've got an access door that takes us into their reactor room and then at the end you've got a hazardous warning door because it, you literally fall out and into a hole so maybe some more construction maybe a construction area so coming up here we have ourselves the bulwark, da, da, da. this large construction area, either side with these garages and a little kitchen in the middle. We've got some tanks here. Now these tanks have been bought from one of the military auctions, so these are pretty cool. You can see there, this one's been stripped out, the engine looks like it's been removed, right? it's been worked on or something like that. So still pretty cool. And as we come back, you can see them hangar doors. We've got a control tower up at the top here, complete with a giant railgun to deter some attackers. On this little roof, we've got a helicopter pad, another one that looks like it's been purchased from the event. And down here, we have a Vulcan bomber. Now, there's two of these on the server. One of them has been stolen and one of them has been bought. So I wonder which one this is. We've got a large prodding miner and a cool little tank so it's got like four separate individual wheel areas it's got a cannon over on this side and it's got a large barrel gun on the other what I other what i really like about this base as well is the, the sort of defensive wall that they put around it of course it's not going to stop fighters and bombers but it might deter the odd small rover from trying to gain access maybe you could possibly jump it up that ramp at the beginning but still a really cool base i like these little vertical struts that have been put in place there as well so going to our list we are actually heading to the fps base to start with so over on the dark side of the planet fizz stunts is working hard let's uh let's have a look well they're not working hard they're currently offline but let's have a good nosy about so they've got this large runway section they've got a backup runway over here We've got what looks to be some sort of anti-aircraft tank stationed on the runway. Coming over here, we have got ourselves some sort of 40k ship. Let's have a look inside. It's got a, a mouth that opens up here at the front. So they've got a little door and they've got seating in the back. So it's transport. I like how they put the uh, little display cabinets for the rifles on the wall so you can quickly grab them before you deploy. Coming over this section, we've got a bit of a printer. We've got some more of the vehicles from the auction, I believe. And stored in here, we've got two attack helicopters. Are these like Apaches, perhaps? We've got the Gatling guns at the front, rocket pods on the side, and then this wooden hut in the middle. And we've also got ourselves, what's this? Gold's Air Bar. So it's like a little restaurant takeaway bar place. Very, very cool indeed. A really nice facility, complete with a remote weapon as well let's continue on so we are heading to mill now mill is Zer's faction they are the sort of main military protagonist you could say in this story for players on the server so let's bring ourselves over and here is the military base let's let's rotate the sun around just a little bit so we can have a look at what this place looks like in the daylight so this is the military place not much here at the moment because it kind of comes alive when events happen so you've got the turrets up on the side, you've got some barracks, you've got medical blocks, you've got a motor pool over at the other side, another hangar, 
and then you've got these cool little walls as well with the barbed wire on top so that's like the military factions base there's also a reactor over on the side there as well so continuing through our grids we have next up smn so cyclos what has cyclos been working on so as we teleport ourselves over here it looks like cyclos is living in a rather cold region of this planet now this is a really cool base it's got like a raised runway it's got like a drop pit at the side here let's have a quick look what's going on inside here so we've got a welding room complete with a gigantic hangar door here at the front them new hangar doors look absolutely ace there's a little ramp access to a lower deck helicopter pad we've got a side door access there for vehicles as well really pretty pace look at that it's like a little gun turret section look how it all looks reinforced with armor as well i really like the look at that oh we've got a little bit of sim drop there not sure what happened maybe a player dropped something up here we've got a little carrier of some sort with the rotors on i like the look of this thing we've got the cockpit there it's quite chunky isn't it? it's got these little gatling gun pods on the side it's got seats what's this caution heat vents oh very nice and then it's got like a a fugly transporter up on the top control pad oh and it's got instructions you always need instructions and there's more of these little things also these are like maybe little helper ships that they've called the fugly oh yeah a little welder on this one inside here it looks like we've got some small drone oh no they're not drones they're little fighters aren't they this one's missing a wing something's happened there very cool i like the look at them they're very compact large mining drill on this side but look at the runway of this place it looks really nice the 90 and the 07 they've really got into the spirit of building themselves a runway so that they can take on and off with a little solar farm at the end so let's continue on so we're heading over to asf so asf let's see what adobe's been working on we're going back over to a dark side on the planet da -da -da -da. what has asf been working on this is going to be a little bit crazy oh there's enough lighting oh it looks like asf are attempting to do some printing if i'm not wrong here so their printers at full production they are building some stuff for their event could it be like, oh yeah it looks like it's building some sort of tank this is quite interesting as well so they built this into the design so all you have to do is hit a button and it locks a rotor in place turret slaps down so that printer goes up and down quite rapidly very cool indeed it's nice to see someone printing at one of the bases over here we've got ourselves a little sherman tank maybe an a variant a plunge miner and then an airfield over here where there's some aircraft being stationed that one's got a little turret on the top of it a very stealthy black color and a small hangar there's also this little anti-aircraft gun that i think is quite cute tucked in over on the side and there's another anti-aircraft tank just over here stationed to deter some other players from attacking very nice base adobe i like that let's continue on so next up on our list we have dbs so coming through here oh let's, let's have a quick look at bsk see what's going on over there i don't want to miss anyone out see but i, I have got a very specific sort of hit list of where we're going to go go and visit so this is bsk so this looks like a maybe a smaller factions base still got a lot of work to build out not too many small rovers in here there's, there's like a small transport truck tucked inside there and a large floating grid so back 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 to the objective we're heading over to dbs aaron there we go so clicking on DBS, and let's see what their canyon holds for us. There's a lot of grids around here, and as you know from previous seasons, DBS love themselves a bit of PvP. We've got a piggy nose turret. We'll do a little zoom out so you can see everything that's going on in this valley first. So they've got like a little landing zone, control tower, complete with flags of various different nations on here. That I think is quite a fun little concept there. Very, very nice indeed coming down here we've got some of their rovers tucked in the shrubs and bushes so various different tanks things that need a bit of work these are quite cool i like to call these the battle bus i don't think i've told them this but it's got like plenty of weapons on either side and it's got these little turrets in the middle they're quite reinforced in here so i won't well i won't say heavily armored but they, they are definitely reinforced coming over here we've got these suspicious looking grids it's not well it's not too suspicious it's, it's just a grid that can take a lot of hammer by the look of it it's got some little bombs down there at the bottom coming over here we've got like a little hover grid we've got another apc we've got what the hell is this uh, I, I i am worried to see what this will do in battle it, it might work what's in the box is it like a disco room with the doors upside down this will oh, make you feel dizzy especially if it's using them gyroscopes to rotate you 
got this little helicopter complete with two turrets. They seem to follow this design of, of wanting multiple turrets on everything. We've got a little lake here. Production's tucked in behind there. Is this like a utility grid? More battle buses. Some more APCs. A little rocket launcher ship complete here with welders. I believe we need to have a, a little bit of a chat about it because they're printing rockets and firing them. But they may be exceeding the grid limits by doing so. Coming over here, some more multi-turrets and more utility ships. So let's have a look up top. So it's a complete offline runway. If I, if I bring my camera over here, does this change or is it just still just display offline? No, it still just displays offline. But there we go. That is the DBS's base. Hopefully that's quite a fun one. Oh, I forgot to mention the pig with the, the pig ear with the uh, guns in its nose. Look at that. Strange, but, you know, fun. Let's uh, continue on before I get too distracted. So EDT is next on my hit list. Now EDT are right here. Let's see what EDT have been up to. So they've, they've picked a nice tropical island, you know, to, to live on. Now EDT have gone with a very different style. They've gone with these airships and this central pillar. Very, very fantasy. Is it fantasy? I'm not too sure of, of what's, what this would fit into, but they've got these gorgeous stained glass windows. These alone must have took ages to configure and get the right on, on the right screens and whatnot. So these get stained glass windows go around the whole structure as well. Very cool. And we've got a giant sign here that says, Aaron, don't check the interior. Okay, we won't, we won't check the interior of that ship. We won't bother. Um, let's continue. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But let's have a quick look in here first. We'll go and have a look at that in a second. So we've got this little hover welding vessel here. I like the look at this. It looks like you can climb along and just float about. A magic carpet that requires a bit of docking coming up through the tower. So all the production on this is vertical. This is like a museum area. So inside here it shows previous different servers. We've got things like the original Mad Iron. Well, not the original Mad Iron, but the one in, the, in January. We've got the Lunacy server here, documenting them with some pictures, showing, you know, of course, his crew and some of the builds that have taken place in here. So coming over here, we've got ourselves the ship that the interior really needs to be seen of. But before we go inside, let's have a look at the exterior. So we've got this gorgeous horse added to the side here so there's a combination of both large and small grid blocks on this one to add to the detailing you can see these little wings that have been added and we've got this decorative rear window that's been added in small ship blocks now coming onto the deck of this ship you'll notice that we've got a propulsion area up here that's nothing too fancy just designed to get the thing moving we have a little wheel at the back that's nicely detailed using the letters two little helms there and as we come around to the front of this deck, we have the engine that looks like it propels the balloon. But we have a little spyglass here. And the spyglass is, of course, complete with a camera. So let's enter in through this little side door that rotates up. And we're into the main cabin, complete with chandeliers, bookcases, and, and a game that looks quite familiar. Maybe, maybe in the comment section you can have a guess what game that is there. But it's complete with cards and uh, some little puzzle pieces as well. Coming to the back window, you can see that they're using that small ship grid at the back here to create the detailing. Very nice. Some nice pictures going on. And as we come into this section, we're into the main bar area, complete with more, more can is it not candelabra, it's a, oh, I forgot, forgot the word. We've got like a, a moose or a deer, some sort of weird Cybertron animal above the fireplace. Jukebox playing away in there. So a, a really cool, really unique, th this would have fitted in perfectly uh, with the previous season that we did do. Well, was it Treasure Planet? Yeah, it would have fitted in with Treasure Planet really nice. And this looks like a carrier blimp. So this one's got like a, a decking for transporting other vehicles around. So really damn cool. Let's continue on. So from EDT, we have got G's base to look at. Now let's scroll down and find G. Now G definitely likes his BF-109s. Um, he has a total, I think it's, it's six BF-109s. We've also got some choppers and tanks that you'll see but let's have a look at the main airfield as soon as it loads in in a second so we've got a helicopter pad around the back we've got the hangars and we've got the main runway here so in these little hangars we have the bf 109s they are clipping into the ground that's something that needs to be sorted but these are quite cool they've got the little guns within the nose section there they've got the cockpit that can be accessed and everything's tucked in here behind some layers of armor coming into the middle these are probably my favorite at g's base 
These are these little Chinook helicopters, complete with survival kit and cargo supply. Look at the front of these, though. The shape's just really nicely done. And we've got another one over there as well. Into this building, we have more BF-109 hangars. And across the runway, we have a supply sort of resource center with these doors. So there's the refineries. And across this way, we have ourselves some Sherman tanks. Well, not Sherman tanks. These are some sort of tank. I'm not too sure what they're based on. You will have to let us know in the comment section. But they've got a turret and they've got a lower sort of hull gun. Come up the mountain, we have a 3D printer by the looks of it on a piston. And we have a miner up here as well. So from G, we are heading to HGI. HGI, whereabouts are oh, yeah. Let's have a look. So Project Pyro, let's have a look. So over here, we're going to rotate the sun around because we're going to need it. We have a base that I believe is roughly based off an Imperial Guard sort of area. We've got a you know a, seven, a 72nd Canadian Iron Corps Division type building in the middle here. We've got some helicopters tucked over here like a transport gunship we've got some turrets that have been stuck around the perimeter this place is quite vast we've got one main runway and we've got like a utility section over here coming down we have in this left hangar let's see if there's anything going on we have a tank that looks like it's under production very cool some nice armored skirts there on the side we've got another vehicle bay an aircraft of some kind and some other tanks that look like they're being worked on oh this looks like a bane blade so there's definitely um a 40k theme going to it here yeah, so it's just missing the big turret on the top. Maybe it's not yet been built. We've got another tank over here that's semi-way through construction or repair. We've got some welding vehicles, some utility drill ships over in this section. Some storage and solar powers. Oh, let's have a look at these helicopters. So we've got like a, a classic US transport helicopter there. We've got some more attack helicopters over in this section. Very, very cool indeed. I like this place. Let's continue on. So, from HGI, we have NBS to have a look at. So let's scroll down our list, and we're trying not to miss anyone. I know I, I, I always miss someone. Uh, so we've looked at G's, we've looked at HGI, and we've got NBS. Oh, hang on. No, we've, got a, we've, missed, we've missed Hobbs Airport. We don't want to miss Hobbs Airport. Okay. So over at Hobbs Airport, let's see what's going on. Well, it's a bit dark. Maybe Hobbs is sleeping. Let's get ourselves out the ground to start with. That might help. So over at Hobbs facility, we've got this snowy runway, very well lit. But well, let's um, switch it around and give us a little bit of daytime. Oh, there goes the sun. So yeah, it's a completely white runway. It looks like there's some sort of drill ship over in this section. We've got one, is it one main runway over here to the left? And then like a taxiway. And then there's a helicopter port over there. Some fuel storage areas. There's these domes as well that I think are quite interesting. These like production domes. What's in this one? There's a storage dome. I don't know how safe it is keeping it all behind glass. But these look like some of the vehicles as well that have been purchased from the auctions. So you've got little, some little uh, MRAP style vehicles, some Hueys and Little Birds. It's, it's a really cool facility, this. I like how they've also got these little uh, up and down, is it like blast doors to stop vehicles from leaving while maybe the airport's in use. They've got a repair center over in this section. Not too sure how that works. Maybe they, they, they're missing or they're waiting to complete some bits. They've got a little canteen in here. Oh, a full facility? Is this fully decked out? Oh, it is. Wow, we might, we might get stuck in here all day. So we've got like a briefing room over on this side. Wow, that's quite cool. I wasn't too sure if this was just going to be further production. But no, it looks like a, like a full barracks sort of area. Yeah, full barracks with briefing room. Very, very nice indeed. What is in here? Is, is it hydrogen tanks? Oh, yes, it is hydrogen tank. So another really cool base. Nice work there, Hobbs. Let's continue on. So we're, we're, we're trying to get to MBS, if I believe correct. So let's have a look. So EDT, FPS, G we've done. Um, Hob we've done. Uh, HPI is just a, shark, a start. It's a shack. Um, let's head over to MBS. Now it's always hard deciding what to cover, what what is just a starter shack, what you know we should wait a player to build a little bit further on. Let's have a look though. MBS, where have you been working on this secret dark valley of destruction? So this is the NBS facility. They're, they're working on a large carrier sort of vehicle over here as well. Lots of thrust, lots of storage for rovers on the inside. We've got a cool little uh, fighter aircraft there. 
a mining rig over here nice MBS colors as well and it looks like MBS have been doing some printing they're pulling out another fighter from the front they've tried to weigh this uh, tow truck down with a little bit of mass and they've got helicopters stacked up here with some gunships they are suffering from some clipping issues by the way from these panels that needs to be addressed but not too bad the printer's still spinning and MBS are also working on what looks to be some sort of tank perhaps in this hangar uh, are they in there? Yeah, it looks like someone's in there working on this tank at the moment. It's a little bit shaky. Maybe they're still wiring the thing up. Oh, there we go. Wheels are on. Is, are we going to see this roll out? Is it going to fit through this hangar door? No, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is going this is, this is actually going to fit out. Wheels are also very tight together. That could cause a lot of unnecessary friction. Oh, he's, he's thinking it over. Definitely thinking it over. <laughs> it's a beautiful looking tank though in there. Let's let's continue on. We'll leave them to it. We might be waiting a while before that we see that thing roll out. So from MBS, we are actually heading to Nut. So through all the factions we looked at before, and we are over here at Jake's base. Dun, 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 dun. So this is just another small starter faction. I thought I'd quickly show you. We've got a little bit, a little helicopter on the roof. Inside we've got some rovers that need a little bit of attention and a 3D printer. But that's just an example of what a newer player on our server looks like and what they've got up to have built so far. So let's continue on. We are heading over to RAB now. So RAB is another one of our long-standing factions on the server. Lot, lots of things to go on. Let's, let's have a quick look at uh, OCM on the way. So another what looks to be a smaller or starter faction. Let's rotate around. So yeah, inside here we've got a little hangar. This was actually found clipping through the floor, but yeah, they're, they're just starting out. They're, they're learning how things work on the server. So you've, you've got to give them a bit of time. So we're heading back to have a look for RAB, if we can find them, and there we go. So RAB A Rover. Da, 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 da. And let's put our sunshine over this way. I'm sorry players who are on the server and are getting flicked around by this. So over at the RAB base, there's a lot of cool stuff. And I, I'm probably going to miss something. So first of all, up here, we've got this really nice aircraft. Look at that. This has got these little uh, landing gear bays that open up and down underneath here. In the back, it's got a ramp with access doors, like a proper cargo storage bay down here. Survival kit so they could drop troops in. A seating area for cargo. The interior of this is lovely. It's really nice. Weapons bay and a full decked out cockpit like that. That's that's a lovely build. Absolutely exceptional. Coming down into their base, we've got a little bit of power. We've got some other ships. What's that? We've got a Pac-Man stealth fighter there. We've got a World War One tank. What I really like about this one is look at these little side sponsor guns. Oh, it's cool that. And then at the back, they've got access to the inside of the World War Two tank, complete with another really detailed interior. That, that's lovely. And it's all labelled as well, so people can get aboard and help out. This is another cool APC. Turrets everywhere. These little guns on the back here. Another nice little APC. This one's a bit more of a modern looking one. Has it got an access door at the back? Small interior, a few seats in the back there. Now, the one thing I will say about this is, even though that this isn't against the rules on how to um, prop up a grid, it's far safer just to have a landing gear, tilt the grid back with a gyroscope, and it'll save performance, because that grid up there is still heavy, it's still putting pressure down on that piston um, that requires calculation. So coming over here, we've got another little interior. This one's nice as well. It's amazing how they fit in these interiors into these ships. Look at that flat gun on the roof as well. We've got what looks to be some sort of transport rover, possibly taken from one of the events. We've got a fighter hangar over here. RAB have been busy. They need to probably block up this floor a little bit, make it a bit safer, because between the grass and the ice, it might be a bit hard getting... Oh, there is a little ramp there. Well, let's have a little zoom out and have a look at the facility. So they've got a reasonably sized runway. They've got... Is that a railgun turret over on this side? Railgun turret H1 hangar, so another little hangar there. A fighter with some rocket launchers, a Huey helicopter, very nice, that's got a survival kit in as well, so they're planning to have people jump out of these, I like that idea, and they've got an avatar helicopter there, is this just like a little bunker? Yeah, so it's a little bunker respawn med bay, fuel storage, and their other storage areas are tucked in here, wonderful, lovely base RAB, great work as per usual, I want to see that evolve a little bit further. Is it going to be a transport vehicle? Let me, let me know in the comment section what, what do you think this is. So, continuing on 
from RAB, we have got Rob to have a look at. So scrolling down past them, trying not to miss anything, as I always do. Uh, RAB, we have got we've got R C I. No, we don't want. To, we're not going to visit them. We've got Rev. Do, do we have a? Let's have a quick click on the Rev base and just see if we missed anything. Okay, yeah, I remember. I know why we're not seeing that one. But yeah, it's just a small little outpost. You can see uh, another starter player learning the ropes. So we are over at the Rob 1819. This one's really cool as well. Look at this place. So you've got an angled runway here. I'm nearly deafened by rotor blades. You've got a utility car sort of cargo drill helicopter there. Barracks over in this section with storage. Helicopter, well not helicopter hangers, plane hangers and a printer hangar. Some of these grids need to be propped up off the ground though. And then we've got this AC-130. Now this one has access at the back. That's quite wide. You could probably transport a rover in the inside of it. And maybe they've been trying to do this with this back one over here. This RAB, is this, hang on. What's an RAB rover doing over here? Hmm, maybe, maybe it was stolen in an event in the AC-130. Another one of these like Avatar style gunships, but this needs to be sorted out because it is clipping through the ground at the moment. What a real lovely base. It's nice to have like a, a mounting top base that just looks this beautiful. Is that a, like an aircraft control tower up here? I'm guessing it is. Looks like it's been shot up a little bit. Very cool. Very nice indeed. <laughs> right, let's head over to RSA. Now, I will put a warning up with this one. RSA need to sort out their wheels. I'd expect more from RSA as well. So, here we go. We're over RSA. Oh, no, RSA. I made a mistake. There's lots of r base factions. So, I wanted to show you this one because what's happened here is this one has been attacked. This is kind of like the aftermath of an attack. We'll... Will Josh return and rebuild it, or will he build a base elsewhere or join another faction? We can see turrets are down, defences have been destroyed. It's not, not looking too good for this base at the moment. So now, now on to the base that has a few wheel-related things that need sorting. Let's, let's see if we can get to the actual admin menu. There we go, Aaron. Okay. So coming down here is we have RSB. Now, Cajun, you need to set an example. You're a moderator. Let's have a... A quick look. You need to get them wheels up. Get them wheels up. Or end up getting them deleted or in the fixture grids room. So over here, Cajun's been working super hard. I actually heard from some community members that he tried to get this building built within the first three days and nearly murdered himself over it. But it is a lovely building. Nice green roof. You've got these sort of sandstone sides. Floors don't have anything in yet. Maybe these could be storage for some aircraft or, or something in the future. Production is down here where he had a big problem with an explosion where he blew up his whole cargo and had to restart again it says it on the signs there and we've got more storage tucked in there as well we've got this cool little airship on the side very nice it's like a like a bit like a cargo airship you see this thrust at the top hydrogen in this section and batteries there as well coming around onto the other we've got some weird and wacky designs that obviously need to be propped up properly because that one's clipping through the ground not sure what's going on there. We've got some interesting, they look a little bit like a Spitfire, but like a modernized version with, with a jet propulsion booster underneath there. Another one of these aircraft as well with some cannons on the side. We've got a little AA tank that looks like it's an auction based one. We've got a drill vehicle and some more of Cajun's classic trucks and a quite nice little tank here as well. Now we do have the tractor. Now, in one of the auctions that they had on the server, when the players were bidding for this one, this was a mystery, a mystery one. All it had was that it was the the biggest biggest destroyer of tanks or, or, or something down the lines of this. And if you know anything about tractors, tractors are very good at uh, stealing tanks, let's say. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's move on. So there was also a railgun there, but uh, we've had to remove it because it was having, having some jingles. Another little tank there as well so nice base really nice base Cajun so we're done ahead from RSB to TPP TPP where are you down the list I don't want to miss anyone out so if we see anyone on the way there we go TPP we're not gonna to go to the STF base because it's only just started to be built at the moment now what's really nice about this place is it, it really fits with the terrain and we've not had many sort of 
desert locations. So you've got the runway laid out really smoothly up here. We've got a few of the military vehicles that are available to the factions up here. Not quite in the correct camo yet, but maybe that'll be something that Kermit changes. Some aircraft little flyers down here. And we've got a hangar with one of the two stolen Vulcans in. And as we enter into this area, I, I, I really like this base. I think Kermit's done a really good job or whoever's been helping him build it. They've got, is this like a rotating pad for displaying vehicles? I guess so. And then they've got two little M wraps down there. Now dropping through this trap door, we enter into the lower floor where the utility ships are stored. And dropping down once again, we have this secondary hangar. But what I really like about this is that through this door, it leads out to this almost dam-like structure that just seems to fit that gap really well. So an absolutely lovely base there, Kermit. Great work. I don't want to inflate your ego too much, though. Oh, I nearly missed it because it was stealth colour. Look at this thing. Look at that cool fighter. It is a little bit close to the ground. It could do with being raised up at the minute just so it doesn't clip anything through and cause any physics issues or phase. But yeah, very stealthy. And from above, it, it almost blends into the runway. I don't know if that's on purpose. Um, <laughs> but it, it might be an idea that having planes that blend into the runway, then you, you wouldn't know where they are to hit them. So from TPP, we have WMC. WMC. Let's make sure we've not missed anyone on the way down. Have a quick scroll. So we have got WMC. So this is Whisker. I thought this one was, was interesting. It's a, it's a bit of a different concept. So this is a giant plunge drill that is buffered on wheels. Sadly, this is clipping, so it will have to be fixed. But this is landing geared in place and it docks like this, unloads its supplies and it can basically bore really deep down into the planet and collect some of them deeper sort of resources. So definitely an interesting one. Nice work, Whiskers. Let's head back down to where we saw W. Let's have a look. So so this other, a few other small little bases that will come past every now and then. You can see this is just like a starter base shape. Still lots of work to do. Uh, we've got the AA, these are ones that have been purchased in the auctions, I believe. Uh, we'll continue scrolling down. We've got Apathy's Island Base. What's this? I, I know Apathy's one of our, yeah, he's one of our admins. He's built himself a little island base there. Very cool. We've got a D, we've got DBS. We've already had a look at them. Let's have a look at Falcon's Outpost. So just the, another little starter outpost that's beginning for a newer player. It's always nice to check these out because newer players always bring different sorts of ideas to the server as well. So we've got the incognito helicopter and base that's down here in, in the woods. All pretty dark out there. Not There's not too much to see here. They're still trying to evolve this base. Um, and as we get right down to the bottom, I, I believe the, the, the one base that I really want to have a quite a look at is Hob. So we've had a look at Hobbs. Uh, let's have a look. Just, I'm trying not to miss anything. At the end here, it's always good just to have a flip through some of these smaller grids. Because there's not much to see in some of these bases that are just being built. We've got Zer with a, a Joe Bido. <laughs> Joe Bido. What is this? So this is this another this is another event. Oh, so this is the one of the auction buildings, yeah. So this is the auction building. You can see this really nice dome. Vehicles come on display here. They get rotated around and, and sold. It's it's a cool concept. Look at that. Yeah, so Zer and, and the guys that have been building. So Zer TH and Pigeon, massive shout out to them helping build some of these structures and vehicles and suggesting and putting forward this concept in the first place so let's go right down to the bottom of the list and we'll have a quick look at zap space so zap space is actually taking a bit of damage they're, they're only just beginning to develop it as we come in here we've got a miner we've got a little zap apc that's took some damage and then we've got the main production and a large hole that's been bored at the back. Still starting out. Be interesting to see. Some players, they, they play for a little bit of time and they stop or they try to get on whenever they can. But I'd like to thank you guys for enjoying our server tour. Let me know your favourite base and your favourite creation that you saw. And I will see you next time.